So this is the drive as I got it. Completely smashed up. Another idiot eBayer who does not know how to ship anything. It sounded like a rattle. There was so much plastic busted off inside and none of the support posts were even intact anymore. Um, yeah, it was a pain. But then you get this. This is the finished product. It doesn't look the prettiest, but um, it's got some battle damage. But uh, at least it works now, so um, another drive saved. Well, at least it's still around. So now I'm going to go through the uh, restoration process. So this is as I got it uh, when I was first testing it. Oh, God. Um, yeah, it was loud and noisy and hardly worked. All right, working at the uh, Atari A10 again. That's the one that I got that was all smashed up. And uh, I noticed there was all kinds of debris on the board, some kind of juice leaked out. So I figured it's a capacitor, but uh, you can see it's kind of corroding the solder joints. So I figured it had to be bigger than one of these guys. So I started taking the big guys off. They look like this. And it's pretty obvious which one was leaking here. That would be C13. So yeah, it was leaking all over the place. Not good. Got the power board all cleaned up on the Atari 810. You can see that there. Um, took the capacitors off, replaced a couple of them already with what I had on stock. And I already got these. This is the old one. What a difference 35 years can make. This one is spec equal to or better than this one. And, uh, wow. Quite a difference. Is that case that was all smashed up. Um, I was able to melt it back together with the MEK. And most of these poles are busted off. This one was. This was off. This thing was a mess. You can see where it's fixed. All right, time for the uh, smoke test. This might be bad, by the way. Power supply section seems good. Nothing blew up on me. I think my TV is making a weird noise. Okay. Let's see if this thing will boot. Atari DOS. All right. I don't know if I have the drive selection correct. Well, I manually moved the head here. Um, let's try again. Yeah, it doesn't sound good.
Nope. I'll just for giggles, let's try a different disc. No. I was doing that when I first got them and I was trying to format too, so something was wrong with this. Uh, I tried my printer disc that I made earlier. It's got some kind of DOS version on it. And when I turned the computer on, I got this. So, is this, are the other discs in double density? I bet that's why. Or dual density, I should say. Whatever their term is. Um, so it apparently works. We'll run a disk directory. So I don't think this is in the single density format, the other disks I was using. Disk directory. And we get all this. So it is working, somewhat. Yes. There. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna try and do something that I could not do before. That's formatted disk. Okay, I D one Yes. <coughs> Whoa. I think it might actually be working. Doing better than it was last time when I got it all smashed up. Okay. Um, so let's do a disk directory. Nothing. Free seven oh seven free sectors. Um Let's write DOS files to it. Now this should create a boot disk. Okay. Um. Is it done? Let's show the contents. It didn't do it. Let's try again. Maybe I didn't do it right. Um, write DOS files. H. D1. Doesn't sound like it's writing. turned off. I don't know. At least it formatted the thing. I did write yes, right? Oh, I guess not. It 
sounds like an old washing machine. But we can format a disc, and if we can boot to it, I would say we got a working drive again. So let's try it. Okay. Boy, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I didn't hit yes. Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. Lights are on. We're at the ready prompt. Um, Alright, so let's go into DOS. And if this works, I'm going to call this a success. It worked. This directory... There you go. Nice. There it is. New capacitors working happy. Well, it's not, it doesn't have the happy mod, but um, I call this a wrap. Case is all fixed up. It's a shame I wouldn't have paid a cent for it. Um, but since it arrived all smashed up. Um, and I got reimbursed. I would have sent it back if I wasn't going to get my money back. But figured I could try and fix it instead of dumping it in the garbage. So, yep, we got another drive again.